What's going on guys, I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at a smart contact sensor. It's compatible with Alexa and I'll be going through the complete setup later, including routines, so stay tuned. The first thing we have is a certificate. The 3M tape for a hardware free install and some screws and plugs if you want a more permanent solution. Next is the main body of the contact sensor and the accompanying bit, not sure what you call it. I thought the face of the sensor was already scuffed but the marks were actually on the protective plastic which was a relief. To set up the sensor you first need to remove the casing. Press the button at the bottom to remove the casing and reveal the battery and internal hardware. Removing the plastic tab behind the battery will power on the sensor and you'll see the red LED start to flash at a steady rate. Press and hold the small button at the top for 5 seconds to put the sensor into pairing mode. Download the Smart Life app if you don't have it already. Hit the plus button on the top right and select the sensors menu. Scroll down to the contact sensor section and select the Wi-Fi variant. Connect to your network and wait. You might need to repress the small button for 5 seconds to put the sensor into pairing mode again as it may have timed out. Once it's flashing again, hit the confirm radio button and continue. Once connected, you should see a notification indicating that the sensor has been added to your ALEXA account, but only if you've connected Smart Life to Alexa previously. If you haven't, enable the Smart Life skill and any new Smart Life products you add will automatically be added to your Amazon Smart Assistant. Exploring the sensor in the app, you have a view of the battery life. It's not a clickable option, and I'm assuming this will change depending on the battery level. The notice option allows you to turn off notifications for when the sensor is opened or closed and the final option is the sensor's opened or closed history. Before installation I thought I'd check how responsive the notifications are. From the video you can see that it can occasionally take 4 seconds or more to show a notification which I think is ok in most use cases. If you open a door, enter the room and close the door within a couple of seconds then there is a chance you may miss a notification but it's super unlikely. I'll demo the responsiveness using an Alexa routine later in the video to give you an idea of how the sensor performs. Before using the 3M tape to install the sensor I used a bit of tape to do a test fit and made sure it was all working as expected. Once happy I applied the 3M tape to the back of both sensor bits and installed them. In order to do a quick and dirty test of the sensor, I added a new routine. For this routine, I've set the smart contact sensor being opened as the when condition. I've left the time to any time and for the action I want to control a group I've already created for the living room lights. When the sensor is in the open state, the lights will turn on at 50% brightness with a cool white colour. I then changed the routine to turn on the LifeX LED strip I have around the perimeter of the TV wall. You can see it takes a while for the lights to turn on in this instance, about 8 seconds to be exact. In the final example, it only takes a few seconds for the lights to change, I guess because they're already on but hard to know because the time it takes from the sensor going into an open state to an action being executed varies on each and every occasion. More often than not, the action will be executed in under 5 seconds and time will tell if it continues to be this intermittent. My primary use for the contact sensor was security rather than controlling lights so I'm not too bothered by the intermittent execution of actions after the contact sensor changes states. I have a routine that will turn the lights on in my bedroom and have 
the Amazon Assistant spit out an audible message in a loop if the back door is opened anytime between 11 p.m. at night to 7 a.m. in the morning. This gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that I have an additional security layer in my home. In conclusion, I'd recommend a motion sensor facing outwards to turn lights on as you approach the door instead of contact sensor. I will be trying out other contact sensors so any recommendations are welcome in the comments. Thanks everyone for watching, if you enjoyed the video a like would be appreciated. Please consider subscribing if you want more techie content like this. I'm open to covering any tech item out there so suggestions are welcome in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.